All right, what's up, you guys? I'm getting ready to make some baked potato, and I was trying to figure out what kind of sauce can I add to it. Well, I got me some sh leftover shrimps in the refrigerator, and I had some broccoli and some queso cheese dip. So I'm gonna with uh, jalapenos. So I'm gonna just make a sauce and um, go ahead and pour it right over that potato, and let's see what it comes out like. All right. So I'm going to season it with a little bit of onion and garlic powder and some Old Bay seasoning. All right, let's get started. So I just added a little piece of butter uh, to my pot and then I'm going to add the broccoli and some shrimps and let it go ahead and cook down a little bit before I add the queso dip. All right, as you can see, I already chopped up my shrimps and my broccoli so now I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to my pot I'm also going to add the shrimp at the same time with the broccoli the broccoli is gonna take no time to cook and you really don't want to overcook it and the shrimps are already um, pretty much cooked so it's just a heating process and then we're gonna add the queso. All right, so I added all the seasonings, the garlic powder, the onion, and the Old Bay uh, to the shrimps and broccoli. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a stir and get all those seasonings um, combined with the shrimps and the broccoli. Okay. I'm not going to add any salt because the queso has plenty of that. So I'm not going to add any salt. So once this is pretty much cooked, it should take about, depending on how hot your stove was, it should be about three minutes, four minutes before it's time to add the queso. So I'm going to just go ahead and let that finish cooking. And then we're going to go ahead and add the queso cheese dip. All right, so now that everything is nice and cooked, we're going to go ahead and add the queso, all right? So I'm not going to add the whole thing, but hmm, maybe half of it. So just let that go ahead and melt down. Make sure your stove is not too high. Because again, you don't want your shrimps to be rubby because they're rubber, rubbery, <laughs> excuse me, because they're already cooked. And you don't want to overcook your broccoli either. So just let it go ahead and take its time and melt down. Okay, so like I can see this is not going to be enough for the amount of people I'm serving. So I'm just going to add a little bit more queso. Now this looks like it's about, what, maybe three people or so. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more. And let that go ahead and melt down. Then we're going to add it to our potato, our baked potato. You guys, so I already got me a baked potato here, which is finished, hot, and ready to go, that I air fried, uh, that I use my air fryer to bake. So I'm just going to cut it down the center. I'm going to leave the foil on. Then we're going to squeeze that like that. And usually, I will scoop some of the potato out so that I can um, get most of the sauce all the way through. But I'm not going to do that today. But you can, you know, if you want to get it all the way through, you can do that. So, kind of cut it up. So, now we're going to add our sauce. All right. Alright you guys, so I ended up taking the potato out of the foil and sitting the potato in this bowl. That's just for convenience. This way I don't have to worry about eating a piece of foil when I'm digging my fork in. Alright, so let's go ahead and add some of this broccoli, shrimp, cheddar, queso sauce goodness. Alright. And this is pretty much all you need. So I put three good scoops of that in there. And that's pretty much it, you guys. 
You got a nice shrimp and broccoli jalapeno queso potato. And this alone should be filling. All right. So try it out, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you back here next time. Bye.